In this transfer test video, we're going to explore ratio problems that involve weight, capacity and price. Flour costs £1.40 per kilogram. What is the cost of 250 grams of flour? Write your answer in the space below. Well, we are told that for £1.40 we can get one kilogram of flour and we have to work out the cost of 250 grams. Well, what have I done to one kilogram to get down to 250 grams? Well, 250 grams is one quarter of a kilogram. So I have divided one kilogram by four to get 250 grams. If I divide my weight by four, I must do the same to my price. I must divide £1.40 by 4 to get the price and the cost of 250 grams. So £1.40 and we're going to divide it by 4. 4 into 1 does not go. 4 into 14 goes 3 times with 2 left over. And 4 into 20 goes 5 times. So the price of the 250 grams of flour would be 35p. Milk costs £1.12 per litre. What is the cost of 25 litres? Write your answer in the space below. Well, we're initially told that for £1.12 we can get one litre of milk. But we need to work out the cost of 25 litres of milk. So what have I done to 1 to get it up to 25? I've multiplied it by 25. So I must do the same to my price. I must multiply that £1.12 by 25 to get the cost of 25 litres. So our sum is £1.12 times 25. Quite a tricky law multiplication sum. But let's do it as a vertical sum to begin with. So £1.12 times 25. So I've got to multiply by 5 first. 5 times 2 is 10. 1 over. 5 1s are 5 plus the 1 is 6. Keep your decimal points all in a line. And 5 1s at the end are 5. Then I put in a 0 because I'm onto my 10s. 2 times 2 is 4. Get your decimal point put in. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. And your last step is to add your numbers. 0 and 0 are 0, 6 and 4 are 10, 1 over, 5, 2 and 1 is 8, and 2 and 0 is 2. So £28 is the cost for 25 litres. If you prefer an alternative way to multiply by 25, we could take our £1.12 and multiply it by 10. 1 pound 12 multiplied by 10 and 1 pound 12 and multiplied by 5. Then we have 25. So 1 pound 12 times 10, we just have to move our decimal point. So it's 11 pounds 20. The same question again, 11 pounds 20. And then multiplying it by 5, well I just have to half 11 pounds 20. Which gives us 5 pounds 60. And our final step is to add the three answers that we gain from multiplying. So three zeros are zero. Six, two and two are ten. So zero down, one over. Five, one, one and one is eight. And then one and one is two. So we get the same £28 answer. Two different ways to get the same answer. Ribbon costs £3.50 per metre. What is the cost of 120 centimetres of ribbon? Write your answer in the space below. Okay, so we're initially told that for £3.50 we can get one metre of ribbon. We need to work out the cost of 120 centimetres. Well, let's work out the cost of 20 centimetres because we already know what one metre costs. So 120 is just 1 metre 
and 20 centimeters. So if we find the cost of, of 20 centimeters, then we can just add it to the one meter to get our answer. So what have I done from one meter to get to 20 centimeters? I've divided it by five because one meter is 100 centimeters. Divide that by five and you get 20. So if I divide my length by five, I must divide my price by five. So five into three pounds fifty. We'll work it out over at the side. Three pounds fifty divided by five. We'll use a division step. Five into three does not go. Five into thirty-five goes seven times, and five into zero is zero. So twenty centimeters of ribbon will cost seventy p. You already know what one meter costs. One meter is three pounds fifty. 20 centimetres is 70p. All I've got to do is add them together to get the cost of 1 metre 20. 5 and 7 are 12. 1 over 4 pounds 20 then is my answer. And that is the cost of 120 centimetres of the ribbon. Potatoes cost 68p for 1 kilogram. How much would 250 grams of potatoes cost? Write your answer in the space below. So let's begin again with our original fact. 68p is the cost for one kilogram. The question wants us to work out what 250 grams of potatoes would cost. So what have I done to one kilogram to get down to 250 grams? One kilogram is a thousand grams. I've divided it by four to get down to 250. Because 250 is a quarter of a kilogram. So if I, if I divide the weight by 4, I must divide the price by 4. So it's 68p divided by 4. 4 into 6 goes once with 2 left over. 4 into 28 goes 7 times. So 250 grams will cost you 17p. So that is our answer, 17 pence. A carton contains 1.75 litres of orange juice and it costs £2.45. What is the cost of a quarter of a litre of orange juice? Write your answer in the space below. Okay, let's do the first part of the question before we read the second. So again, beginning with our original fact. 1.75 litres costs £2.45. We have to work out the cost of a quarter of a litre. Well, how many quarters are in 1.75? The one, whole one, has four quarters. And the 0.75 has three quarters. So all together we have seven quarters. 1.75 litres is seven quarters. So I've divided by seven to get down to one quarter. We've divided by seven. So if I divide that capacity by seven, the liters, I must do the same to my price and divide it by seven. So let's write ourselves a division step problem. Seven into two pounds 45. Seven into two does not go. Decimal point then and two brought over. Seven into 24 goes three times. 3 brought over, 3 left, and 7 into 35 goes 5 times. So the cost for 1 litre is 35 pence. So that's our first answer. And the second part of our question, what is the cost of orange juice per litre? Well, we've just worked out the cost of a quarter of a litre. So a quarter of a litre costs 35 pence. We now have to work out the cost of one litre. Well, what have I done to a quarter to get up to one litre? I've multiplied it by four. So I have to do the same to my price. I take my 35p and I multiply it by four. Four fives are 20, zero down, two over. Four threes are 12, plus your two, is 14. That's all in pence. They want the answer in pounds, so it's one pound and forty pence. One pound forty. 
An athlete takes 9 minutes to run 3,000 metres at a steady speed. How long would she take to run 1 kilometre at, at the same steady speed? Write your answer in the space below. So again, beginning with the facts that we're told. In 9 minutes, the athlete can run 3,000 metres. We have to work out how long it will take for her to run 1 kilometre. So, what have I done to 3,000 metres to get down to 1 kilometre? Well, you should recognise that 1 kilometre is just 1,000 metres. So you've divided by 3. So if we divide the distance by 3, we must do the same to the time. So 9 minutes divided by 3, quite an easy question. 3 minutes. And that's our answer. Sausages cost £7.40 for a kilogram. How much does 250 grams of sausages cost? Again, let's start with the original facts. We're told that £7.40 will get you one kilogram. We have to work out the cost of 250 grams. Hopefully you have recognised by now 250 grams is a quarter of a kilogram. So you've divided the weight by four. You must divide that price by four. So take your four, a division step, and you're going to divide it into seven pounds forty. Four into seven goes once. That's my point then. Bring your three left over to your fourth. Four into thirty-four goes eight times. Two left over, and four into twenty goes five times. So the cost for a quarter of a kilogram, two hundred and fifty grams is £1.85 and that's our answer. Sam's car has run out of petrol. The petrol tank in Sam's car holds 30 litres of petrol. Petrol costs £1.75 a litre. How much does it cost Sam to fill the tank with petrol? Write your answer in the space below. Okay, so we know that the cost of one liter is one pound seventy five, but we have to work out thirty of them. So the question is, and the sum that we have to carry out is one pound seventy five times thirty. Well, to multiply by thirty, I'm going to multiply by ten. So one pound seventy five times ten, pretty easy. We're just moving a decimal point, so it's seventeen pounds fifty, and then I'm going to multiply that by three because this will give me my multiplied by 30. So 1750 times three. Three zeros are zero. Three fives are 15, so five down and one over. Don't forget your decimal point. Three sevens are 21, plus your two is 22. Sorry, plus the one is 22. And three ones are three, plus your two is five. So your final answer is 52 pounds and 50. Flour costs £1.90 per kilogram. How much would 400 grams cost? Write your answer in the space below. As always, we begin with the original fact. £1.90 will get you one kilogram. We have to work out the cost of 400 grams. Now, this is quite a tricky one. There's no straightforward division sum that gets me from one kilogram down to 400 grams. So I have to carry out a little bit of work before I get to the final answer. If we know the cost of one kilogram, let's work out the cost of 100 grams. So one kilogram is 1,000. All I've done is divide that by 10 to get to 100. So if I divide my weight by 10, I'm going to divide my price by 10. So £1.90 divided by 10, well that's just 19p. You're just moving your decimal point to your left when you're dividing by 10. So 19p is the cost of, of 100 grams. If we know the cost of 100 grams, all I've got to do is times it by 4 to get the cost of 400 grams. So it's 19p times 4. 4 nines are 36, 3 over. 4 ones are 4. Plus your three is seven. So your answer for 400 grams, it costs 76p. And the answer is in pounds, so it's 0 
We're going to cost the 25 centi centimeters of ribbon at two pounds 40 per meter. So we're originally told that for two pounds 40, you can get one meter of ribbon. We want to work out the cost of 25 centimeters of ribbon. So one meter is just 100 centimeters. So what have I done to one meter to get down to 25 centimeters? I've divided it by four because 25 centimeters is a quarter of one meter, quarter of 100. If you divide your length by four, well then you've got to divide your price by four. So you take your two pounds 40 and you're going to divide that by four. Four in the two does not go, four in the 24 is six and four in the zero is zero. So 25 centimetres, a quarter of a metre, will cost you 60p.